kind of like a series of events for me. So when I was in middle school, one of my English teachers actually collected CAN tabs, and I didn't really know what it was for. And then in high school, my community service club, they had um, little sandwich bags, and they were like, bring in a sandwich bag, and you get an extra point towards your hours. So I was like, okay. And then I found out that um, the CAN tabs were going to Shriners Hospital, and I have a family connection to Shriners Hospital. My cousin Jack actually went there for cerebral palsy, and he got his surgeries done there, and they would give him free wheelchairs and stuff. So um, I found out that my cousins actually used to take the CAN tabs by the truck full, and so it kind of picked up from there. I first got involved with Operation CANTAB from Jess. Um, she started this about a year ago, and I was like, oh, hey, um, this sounds really cool. Like, can I join you? I really want to make this a big thing on campus. Um, I first heard about Operation CANTAB through Jess. We became friends uh, early in the fall last year, and one day I was coming home and I saw a flyer for Operation CANTAB on my door and um, I asked her what it was about and she told me and she was always next door um, painting these buckets for everyone and I asked her for one and that's when we started collecting. It began with just collecting can tabs over the weekend, had little sandwich bags, had little mason jars of them and then I started really getting into it and saying Operation Can Tab, like that sounds really cool, I think people would get involved and then my teammate Meg Williams got involved with me and that's when we started creating the buckets and asking people, if we gave you a bucket, will you fill it? Like giving people an end goal. And then we came up with competitions and it, everything just kind of, the community just fell into place and everyone's been so supportive. We actually get the buckets from Walmart and we hand paint them all. Um, and this is what they look like. So we have the Shriners Hospital and on the front they say, love to the rescue, Operation Cantab and we'll put like where you live on it so it's your own personal bucket. This year alone, Operation Cantab has collected over 140 pounds, all brought in by Franklin Pierce students, faculty, and friends. For faculty around campus, we've had, this past semester we had about 15 pounds from Campus Safety. They've been a great contributor. Um, we have buckets in the pub, we have buckets in the athletic training room, so they're all really involved. And we actually had one of the professors, she came and gave me probably about two pounds, Professor Betts. She was really excited to get involved with that as well. I think Jess has had a great impact on campus because when she showed me the brochure, she was also making decorative buckets for students to collect the can tabs. And if you have something that's decorative and it's in front of you, like my jar here, you remember to do it. I try to collect can tabs every day, whether it be from soda or from soup cans, um, just really anything. And on the weekends too, um, I try to pick up cans along the way after parties or just um, if they're just along the sidewalk. I try to pick up tabs as much as I can. If you're using a can, there's a tab on top of it. It doesn't take a long time. Uh, one thing I do, if, I'm not, if I don't want to take the tab off every time, once a week on Saturday, you'll find me in my, with, next to my recycling bin, and I just take the tabs off and throw them in the box. It's kind of like a little moment of doing that. It's a, it's a very easy way to help somebody. Operation CANTAB has even resulted in collectors spreading awareness of the cause beyond Franklin Pierce University. I'm really passionate about helping this cause because um, playing volleyball all four years, it's been really hard to do community service or join a club and this was something that I'm actually really passionate about. Um, over the summer I had an internship at um, a children's hospital and being able to give back in such a way to people who really need it um, is really rewarding for me. Last summer I traveled to Italy and while I was out and about um, just exploring there was a can tab on the ground and instantly I was like, oh, I gotta grab that. So I picked it up and I went to my friend and I was like, can you take a picture of uh, me, this can tab, and the view behind me, because Italy is beautiful. And we did and I sent it to Jess. I was like, oh, can you post this on the Instagram page? I think it'll um, make people realize that you can collect can tabs anywhere. And so, We've recently got photos from people in Florida, on vacation, um, Costa Rica. We had a girl, she actually went there this winter break and um, she collected Cantab right off the ground and was like, oh, hey, 
I'll take a picture and send it to Jess. I think it kind of reminds us all that we have a responsibility to also give back. And uh, especially students, faculty, staff, we're busy in our everyday, but just taking that little moment and remembering others, I think, is very important. The most rewarding part of Operation Cantab is actually helping these children. Like when we went and visited Shriners Hospital last year, we got to see this little boy, and he was up on the balcony, and he was in a wheelchair, and then 20 minutes later, he was walking around with prosthetic legs, and it was the most amazing thing to see, um, just these children getting better every day by these little Cantabs. The most rewarding part of Operation Cantab for me is just being able to create something on campus that brings so many people together for such a great cause that has helped my family and now we get to give back and help other people as well.